In this video, I'll be proving that the open and closed intervals are Lebesgue measurable. First, what I'm going to prove is that um, a to infinity is Lebesgue measurable. Okay, so the proof here is uh, suppose A is a subset of R. Okay, we start off with that. Then what we have to analyze is the Lebesgue measure of A intersect A to infinity plus the Lebesgue measure of A intersect negative infinity to A included. Because this right here is the complement of that. What I'll say is that for every epsilon bigger than zero, there exists a set of open intervals such that the sum of the um, lengths of those open intervals is less than or equal to the Lebesgue measure of A plus epsilon by the definition of infimum. Um, now what I'll do is I'll define, is I'll look at two sets, okay? It's going to be ii intersect a to infinity and ii intersect negative infinity to a included. Okay? These are the two sets I'm going to worry about. So these are still intervals. That's very nice and useful. It's easy to see that these are both subsets of ii and that they're complements of each other so that I have two properties. The Lebesgue measure of i i intersect a to the uh, infinity plus the Lebesgue measure of i i intersect minus infinity to a included equals the Lebesgue measure of i i. Okay, and I can replace all those with lengths because the Lebesgue measure is the same as the length. Okay, and because um, these are all subsets, okay. The sum of the Lebesgue measures of ii intersect a to infinity um, and the sum of the Lebesgue measure of ii intersect minus infinity to a included, these are both going to be less than or equal to the sum of the Lebesgue measure of ii. Okay, we know that. And I can just replace the Lebesgue measure with lengths. Okay, we know that um, a intersect a to infinity has to be a subset of the union of i i intersect a to infinity. Okay, because a has to be a subset of this, right? That's the condition by the Lebesgue measure. And we also, so that we can move that intersection inside, and that'll give us it, right? So that this way, the Lebesgue measure of A intersect A to infinity has to be less than or equal to this one right here, the Lebesgue measure of all that, which by subadditivity has to be less than or equal to the sum of the Lebesgue measures of each one individually. And then you can do that with the other one as well. So that you get that the Lebesgue measure of A intersect A to infinity plus the Lebesgue measure of A intersect negative infinity to A included has to be less than or equal to the sum of the Lebesgue measure here. And then plus the sum of the Lebesgue measure, uh, except I replace that with um, negative infinity to A included, right? This gives us the sum of the Lebesgue measure of I, I intersect A to, the in A to infinity plus Lebesgue measure A, I intersect negative infinity to A included, which Right here, I said that their sum has to be equal to the Lebesgue measure of i, okay? Which I said you can replace with length, which right here is less than or equal to length of a plus epsilon. 
So I have it that the length of A plus epsilon is greater than or equal to this for every epsilon greater than zero. That means by the epsilon lemma that this has to be greater than or equal to this. There we go. Because the other condition is just countable subadditivity, so we're done with this. Now, this trivially leads to the open interval, um, negative infinity to A. That's one that's really easy to prove. Similar. Okay, and then you can have um, A to infinity intersect negative infinity to B, which will give you A to B. Okay, and that'll give you that, that open interval is measurable. And then by complements, you can also have minus infinity a right there included. And you can also easily show that b to infinity. Okay, and then you can intersect those two or the other way around. B there, a there. Okay, and then you intersect those two and then you get close interval as well. Okay, so those are all Lebesgue measurable. Okay, so now the previous video is completely validated. And so that's how you do it. That's how you prove it. That's, that's it.